Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One-Handed Mechanic, if I can do it, you can too. Today we are working on a John Deere D130, and I'm gonna show you how I install a PTO blade engagement cable. Okay, so tools we need today, from right to left, definitely gonna need a flashlight. I use the electric quarter inch ratchet. You can use a 3 8 ratchet, quarter inch ratchet. We're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. I'm just using deep, because that's what I have. A quarter inch extension, what I will need. 8 millimeter socket, gonna use an 8 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, the clip fastener remover tool, new pair of new nose pliers, and over here we have the cable itself. This is for the D130. This cable may be for a lot of other ones, and if you guys have a machine that this cable, for the part number here, it's a GY22387. If anybody out there uses this video for this uh, particular cable, Please uh, leave me a comment below on what machines this fits, because I'm sure this fits more than D130, uh, but this is the cable that we need today. And we do have a little background noise. There's an, an auction going on outside, and I do apologize for the noise. All right, so what we're, gonna, what we're gonna replace today is this cable here that runs down, goes underneath here, and it goes to your blade engagement underneath here, and there's a very large spring. And if you can see, the cable broke right here where it connects to the spring. And back up in here, I'm gonna show you a picture. I'm trying to put a picture in there, but this comes out very easy. There's a, there's a large slot in the either arm that the engagement is, and you're gonna pull this up and out. It's just a slot. You don't have to go in 90 degree this or anything. This is a very large um, spring, and I thought they were doing better by upgrading these springs, but it looks like their cable is just not strong enough. But as you can see, it has a little opening here. So when you put this back in, you're gonna put it back in and you're gonna have to find the slot in the arm and it'll just drop right in. So just remember that when you put the cable back in. Okay, so it comes right back out. All right, and then we're gonna take this pin right here off and I don't know if you can you can possibly we'll try to get a shot from the other side okay so this is the shot from the other side and you just basically just have to pull the pin out like so and then this will pop out okay so we're gonna take it out of here come around okay so the cables out of its hole right there just make sure you don't lose the, the, the clip pin here all right, and it follows around here and it attaches to the frame. Some of these actually didn't attach, some of them did attach. This one is just a plastic clip fastener right here. And we're gonna use, this is this tool here is exactly what this is designed for. You just pry behind it. And I'm not gonna try to break it because I wanna try to reuse it. If you have to, I didn't buy a new one, but these have little barbs in the back. And this one looks pretty good. So it should be, we should be able to use this again, I think. And it looks like we're gonna have to take it off of this clip. So yeah, we're gonna try to reuse this clip. As long as you don't, as long as they're not brittle and they still have some barbs on it, they should still hold into the frame there. So at this point, you could take this cover off, but I think we can just pull it up through here. Now granted, our new one's gonna have a spring on it and we're gonna have to fish the spring, or fish it down through there with the spring on it, but I still think it has enough room. Okay, so now we're up to this point here. Now, this is a little tricky for me. Um, everybody there has two hands. It's gonna be a little bit easier, but I can still do this. You're basically gonna hold one hand here, and then you have to get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers. And underneath here, which I don't think we're gonna be able to get, I'm gonna try to maybe take a picture of that, but you have to put your pliers up inside here and just press against it. And with the camera, I'm not sure if I can get in here with everything going on, but you gotta try to press against the, just like that. Let me just show you here what I just did. Right here, there's a little tab here and a tab here. And when you put it in, it actually, the tabs open up. So they actually hold it right there. So what you have to do is you have to get behind here with your needle nose and you have to push these in slightly and then you can just pull this right out. Okay, so that, now it's out. We have to go around this side here we have to get this spring. This is, when you when you engage your blades, your handle engages in this spring right here. Okay, this is your handle up here. So when you engage it, this spring is your tension for your arm, your handle, so it stays taut. 
okay? But we have to remove this to get this out. So we're gonna, it's just pretty nice. They actually make it for your finger. Pull this out, it's a little, it's a little tight, and then it'll drop off where the blade engagement is. The blade engagement cable actually rests. So take this off, okay? Just remember which way it goes on. Now we have blade engagement cable, it's right here. So we have to get it off of here. Now there's two different ways you can do this. One way is to take two 10 millimeter wrenches or 10 millimeter socket and a wrench, put a wrench on top and a socket on the bottom and take this off. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this eight millimeter, there's eight millimeter bolt, nut and bolt on here. Okay, I'm actually gonna pull this arm down to make it a little bit easier for me. Um, it's just easier for me to get a socket on this side and a wrench on this side than it is for me to do this side here. So um, what I have to do is there's a, if you look, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a switch right here. Okay, this switch actually keeps this handle kind of sprung out a little bit. I can't, I need to hold it like this so I can get a straight, straight shot from my socket to this nut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually hold the handle with a bungee cord up here. I'm actually gonna pull this handle back a little bit just so it stays there. So I can actually, uh, so I can actually work there. All right. So just a little modification that I had to do for my own personal. You might be able to use that 10 millimeter and get it off, but what I'm doing now is I have pressure on it, so it doesn't spring away. So right now I can get directly onto this nut. And that's an eight millimeter. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wrench behind it. I'm going to hold it there, and then we're going to undo this with a with a wrench, ratchet. I'm gonna use my electric ratchet. I'm gonna drop this out. Be real careful you don't drop it. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this out the back, right here. I'm gonna relieve the tension on my bungee cord so it'll spring off from there. Okay, so now this should drop down. Just remember, there's a little U here, so when you put this on, I think it only goes on one way. Okay, yeah, it only goes on one way. It has a, uh, it's like a little puzzle. Okay, so it only, it only goes on one way. Now be careful when you put this up in there. If you're doing it my way, you're gonna have to hold this, this bracket right here that my thumb is on. It's gonna have to be away from the switch because there's a switch that you go to try to push this up in there. If you have it too close to the switch what I'm saying is make sure when you put this back up in there it's away from the switch because if you have the handle still bungeed you're gonna try to push this up into your switch and it'll break it so just be careful so just remember that all right so now we have this off we should be able to take this to the bench okay so here's a new cable and we need to put this on here it really doesn't matter which way this faces at all 10 millimeter on one side on the other. Okay, you can pull that out. Drop it off to the side. Put the cable in. Attach that like so. Right, so now it's back on now we have to put this back into the tractor okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop the spring down through here I knew that you could take off this cover if you want if you want to be on the safe side but we're just gonna take that through I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna actually hook up the top first and then we'll come down and do this second all right, so in reverse order, pull that cable out a little bit. We have to put this in like so. Now I'm moving this arm out a little bit, okay? So it doesn't get close. Like I said, there's a switch back up here. And if you try to put this, slide this up when it's in the off position, you could break the switch. So I'm, I'm basically holding with my one arm I have the blade engagement halfway engaged. Then I'm going to slide this up. And like I said, it only goes in one way. All right, so now it's slid up. I'm actually going to use my bungee again. And I'm going to bungee it tight so I can actually hold it. This will actually be holding it up for me while I 
put the bolt in there. So I'm just gonna bungee it up again real quick. That's just it's for me. A lot of you guys probably don't need to do this. That just keeps it back. Then you put the bolt in from the back side. And you may have to move this up or down a little bit. All right, there it is. You just have to play with it until you get it. And you put the nut on. Eight millimeter behind it, like so. And tighten it up. Okay, just snug it up. Come out with the cable. Cable's still hanging here. Now I'm gonna loosen up the blade engagement handle, and then I'm gonna pull this. Make sure there's nothing in the way right here. Pull this up and lock it in. And then you also have to remember your spring for your return so this is your return spring and pretty sure it was on the top so you're gonna pull this around there and then just try to make sure it works okay now granted we don't have the tension on this this cable yet so I'm gonna just leave that taut right there like that all right so let's go down and uh, see what we can do at the bottom here I'm gonna slide this under you just have to find the slot. Like I said, you're gonna have to make sure to line up the... I'm gonna actually pull this in a little bit to make it straighter. Find your slot. Okay, I had to do a little, I had to push on the top a little bit, but it went into the slot. And then you're gonna pull that out, push this in. Okay, and we're gonna try to put our clip back the way it was and you can just if you look back in the video you can see the other side so you put that in there oops i had it put it in there like that and then lock that in there and then i'm going to come up here and we're going to put this in the hole see if this holds it here all right now, it feels like it's not great if you want to you could probably get that clip of john deere i'm pretty sure that's not going to go anywhere actually i might actually get another one it's probably a good idea to get another one or you could probably put if you had to you could probably run a quarter inch bolt in here and put a nut on the back okay i didn't want to put this in the video just because of the fact that you can go to john deere and get this plastic click most likely i am not going to i'm not close to a john deere dealer so i just didn't feel comfortable with this it was okay but i put a, a half inch quarter inch it's a it's a quarter inch bolt it's a half inch long and then I put a locking nut on this side. I pull, I pushed it in from the rear because it was just easier for me to push it in from the rear and to get this nut on the south side. And it's tight, all right? As long as you can get in there now. It was a little tricky to get back there with a wrench or a, I had to use a socket behind there. So it's easier if you take the motor deck off, but this isn't about taking the motor deck off. This is about getting this PTO cable in. So you can use this one again. If it pops out on you, just you know, just remember that you can probably go to John Deere and get the clip faster. Some auto shops may have it too. All right, so we're together here. It runs up through here. Everything looks to be good. And we put the spring on. So operating it now, this should engage the belt, which underneath the tractor, you just wanna make sure that everything is working properly. Make sure that your spring is actually good and taut. Now, some of these, this D1, this D130, these right here are where my thumb is at. They used to be adjusting. You could adjust these. Some of these motor decks may be adjustable. This one is not, not sure why. Um, I really like that feature that you can adjust those. But the spring tension is good. The belt tension is good, okay? And then just make sure that nothing, none of your belts have dropped off the pulleys. Everything looks good. Everything's on the pulleys. We got the belt on all the pulleys. That's pretty much it. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up. We're gonna shut this on us for turning the PTO off. Make sure you make sure you have the PTO handle in the off position or the tractor will not start. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will catch you on the next one.